Well, I just got home from the hospital. I uh, had the surgery at uh, maybe about five o'clock. It's now nine o'clock. It's kind of getting the anesthesia out, but a little woozy, a little uh, tipsy, but uh, the rod is out. So I'll update you guys. Of course, I'm a little bit sore, but I'll update tomorrow on how I feel. But uh, successful rod removal. Yippee. <laughs> Talk to you later. Hello, uh, it's the morning after my precise stride rod removal. Um, can't say I slept great. Um, you know, this sucker is definitely sore uh, where the incisions were, but uh, I'm doing all right. I can walk. I, I use a cane just because it's kind of sore. Uh, and of course, um, also, of course, last night, you know, the anesthesia was still there. It's a little, little tipsy. Um, I'm just using Tylenol. I don't like a lot of pain meds, so, um, I don't, I, in fact, I haven't had Tylenol since probably midnight. It's night now. So it's, it's sore. I'll, I'll take some more Tylenol now, but, uh, it's not, it's not like, uh, overbearing or anything like that. And, uh, you can see the incision. There's, there's one and, uh, I won't show you the other one, but you know, it's basically the same incisions they used for, um, putting the screws in the first time and, the rod in the first time. Um, I think the surgery took about an hour and a half. Um, so, so far uneventful. I'll, I'll keep you posted on how long it takes to kind of recover here. I, I'm hoping uh, three, four, five days it'll be feeling a lot better. Um, but day one, pretty sore. Signing out for now. Hey everyone, it's been uh, four days since I've had the stride rod removed. Uh, so it's Friday afternoon, almost 5 p.m. here, and uh, my surgery was just about the same time on Monday. Um, so I was able to bring take off the big bandages today, shower without them. So incisions are looking good. The scarring, I think, will be the same as it was before. Um, quite a bit of bruising at the top of the hip. Uh, I'll share some pictures with that. Um, but uh, overall today, I'm definitely turning the corner on... Um, pain level and uh, able to walk uh, up until today. I was still using a cane to get to walk just pretty sore um, You know, there's a lot of trauma in this even though you're not breaking the bone You know, you've got uh, three incisions one to pull the rod out two to pull the screws out um, And it looks like they must have done some tugging up there at the hip to get that rod out I don't know. There's quite a bit of bruising there. So I don't know if that's just from Where the the rod comes out of the bone if there's some blood loss there or whatever But but when you see the pictures, you'll see there's there's quite a bit of bruising <clears throat> but uh, very happy that uh, uh, this is not going to be as long a journey as it was the first time when you had the rod put in. And uh, again, I think by next week I should be uh, walking pretty well. I'll show you my walking now, um, just so you have that. Um, I'm still, you'll see I'm limping quite a bit. So um, this is four days, but you know, no cane, but I'm still gingerly on that so i expect that that'll get better um here in a couple of days so i'll give you an update then okay bye-bye